Okay, the next thing that we need to do is actually cut out the bearing holes. And as I said before, we want the bearing holes to be a little bit nicer than the holes that we, or the contours we use for the slots and the access holes. And so we're going to add, in fact, a finish pass to um, the, this operation. And so let me show you how we'll, we'll go through this. Much of it is very much the same as what we did before for the other contours. So we're going to go tool path and do contour. And then we're going to select the chains. And to select the chains again, I'm just going to select here. Notice that's moving counterclockwise. Um, that's fine with me. And we'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. So I'm just going to select all of these. Notice this one's moving clockwise. We can't have them moving in opposite directions. So I'm just going to hit R for reverse. Then go to the next one, hit R for reverse. And so I just want to make sure that they're all going counterclockwise. Error, that arrow small, but it's still counterclockwise. And then finally, going to the last one here, clicking down here, it's counterclockwise. So I've selected them, selected all of them. Now I'm going to hit OK. And it brings up the contour dialog where I can choose everything. The tool that I'm going to choose is tool number four. Notice it's in here. Um, I don't have to go to the library. It just has the most recently used tools here. The 16, tool 16, which was the drill bit, and then number four, which was the um, quarter inch flat end mill. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is cut parameters. Notice I chose a counterclockwise cut, and so I want to be on the left side of the line, not on the right. Notice what it does is if I do a contour, it keeps all of the same parameters from my previous contour. So notice depth of cuts isn't selected. Since again, we're still only doing an eighth inch thick, we're just going to cross that off. But I do want to do a lead in and lead out. So I'm going to select lead in. And I'm also going to make sure that I have an entry, a lead in, and an exit, lead out. Now, there are a couple of things here. So how are we going to enter towards um, the actual contour? Are we going to come in tangent to it or perpendicular to it? I like to come in tangent. Um, and so as it basically, as it shows here, we want to come in tangent to the actual contour. But maybe we want to arc in, and that's what this arc is. And so we're going to arc before we come in tangent. So you can kind of see the path that it would take. Now, this 100% just represents, 100% represents the diameter of the bit. Okay, 100% the diameter of the bit will be the length of the actual um, lead-in. And the radius of that would also be 100% um, of the diameter of the bit, which is a quarter of an inch. I could change that a couple of ways. I could say, well, maybe I'll only want it 50%. So if I change it to 50% and hit enter or select a different box, Notice it changes it to the radius of the bit, okay? And so maybe I can change them to 50%. The only reason I would change them is, one, to save a little time so you don't have a, a very long lead-in, and two, if you might not have enough space to do a large lead-in. So I'm going to do 50% here and 50% here. And what I can do there, again, I'm going to keep that little breakthrough. But um, the next step is I'm going to go to multiple passes. Multiple passes is really talking about the size of the contour. Well, I don't want to cut everything out in one pass. I want to leave a little teeny bit and then cut the little teeny bit on a final or what we call a finish pass. And so I'm going to have one finish pass. And typically what I like is about 20 thousandths of an inch. Now, notice if we're doing multiple depths, I might not want to finish pass at all the depths, maybe just at the final depth. Here it doesn't really matter because we're only cutting at one depth. Okay, not going to worry about tabs here. Notice linking parameters are not um, retained from last time. So we've got to go with a depth of negative 0.125, which is the thickness of our stock. And they, there we're good. So I can hit 